The Suspension Bridge Invention by John A. Roebling John A. Roebling was born on June 12, 1806. He was recognized for his talent at a young age and was sent to Earth first in Germany when he was 15. Then, when he was 24, he studied architecture, engineering, bridge construction, foundation construction, and hydraulics at the Brick Academy in Berlin, Germany. He moved to America in 1833, and from 1837 to 1848, he took place in various minor bridge building and surveying projects. In 1841, he created the world's first wire rope, a rope consisting of seven wires twisted together. It was six inches thick. In 1851, he started the construction of a bridge connecting the New York Canal and Great Western Railway of Canada over the Niagara River. The bridge spanned 825 feet and was supported by four 10-inch thick wire cables. While well, that bridge was being built, it took on another project. It was a suspension bridge across the Kentucky River with a span of 1,224 feet. In 1867, he started designing what is now called the Brooklyn Bridge, but on June 28, 1869, his foot got crushed by a ferry. After his toes were amputated, he refused further medical treatment. Instead, Roebling treated himself with water therapy, a continuous pouring of water over a wound, but his condition got worse and worse until he died on June 22, 1869, of tetanus. The suspension bridge was a type of bridge that allowed travel between large gaps between roads and railways. It usually consists of a support, usually made out of stone or bricks, the deck, where daily commute takes place, the main cable, a thick steel rock connecting the supports to the middle of the bridge, and the supporting cables connecting the main cable to the deck. It allowed longer spans compared to other types of bridges and requires less materials as well. It also required little support below the bridge, allowing large boats and ships to travel under it. It may also withstand earthquakes and other seismic activity better than heavier bridges. The Industrial Revolution resulted in a new type of city, a city born out of successful industrial growth. This resulted in more and more inbound and outbound traffic in those cities, so they required a better transportation system than ever before. The suspension bridge solved this problem. It allowed extremely large distances to be spanned, can resist large amounts of stress, requires little to no support in the middle of the bridge, and was extremely durable. This satisfied the needs of heavy traffic and trains to cross wide rivers and canyons in the 19th century.